Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Hell yeah. Sure, Where'd my uh, gaming window back. go? Hold on. Knock, knock, bitches. That was funny. That was hilarious. Uh, videos. What was? Uh, why is it? It's not minimized. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? Oh, it did Windows Media Play. No wonder. Oh, perfect timing. Yeah, we were kind of, kind of waiting on you. I mean, I saw, oh, I saw... Somebody got in the door. Oh, <laughs> oh come on. Yeah, hey, enjoy the black screen for a minute. Cause it, it read my Windows Media Player, which is funny. It's like, yep, we're gonna read Thunder's <laughs> Media Player because I was playing a song for the break, you know. Okay. Right. I'm officially back. Should have had the Struck by Thunder image still up. Why? Cause you saw me go back. And yeah. Again? Yeah. Oh, I had no idea you put it back up there. Well, we were kind of. I was kind of waiting on you, and then I saw you come back, and then I popped it on, and I'm like, "Ah, oh, shit." Well, somebody came to the door, and I had to answer it. Oh, that's understandable. It's Pizza Hut. It Pizza Hut. I, I wish. Food. I wish there's Pizza Hut. I don't have any pizza though. Where the hell did it go? What the fuck? There it is. I'm like, where the hell? Bro, are you? <laughs> Thunder, look at look at this. I have candy for days. This is all my Christmas candy that I never ate. Really? Christmas candy? I'm and trying to reach it. Really? I'm trying to reach it. Oh, it doesn't work that way. God well, we all got these little, like, candy cane things, and nobody else likes them, so I gave them all to me. So I, I got that, like, uh... I was trying to get my, uh, Minecraft torch. You guys probably see that in the background, do you? Minecraft oh, yeah. torch? Yeah, I seen the Minecraft story at my work once. I was like, man, if I was a huge Funny. Minecraft fan, that would be awesome, but I'm not. They have a Minecraft book. Like, why do you need a Minecraft book? I saw that at Walmart one day. I just should laugh. Well, here's a question that come top of my head when I went to the BRB sign as, as mm -hmm. soon as I muted me off the mic on the stream. Have you noticed that game manuals do not exist in the new game or in, with the new consoles now? You, you, you see them online more instead of getting the actual book. Mm -hmm. Yep, I've noticed that. Yeah, I don't necessarily think that's a problem, but well, I mean, yeah. no, but they did have some good arts in there, yeah. and it would tell you yeah. about the game. Oh, yeah. But now you can, if you wanted to. Uh, Get a gamer guide, and you can buy the full fucking book for what ten bucks, if not more, if you need help with the game. But to me, yeah. you wouldn't buy that because you can look it up online or look it up on YouTube to get through the part that you're stuck on. Right. For yeah. Friendship bot is like art is more of a collector's edition mm -hmm. community now. Yeah, I agree with I you, man. True. Well, should I bring up the next question? Yeah, go ahead, man. Next question is, when do you think Half-Life 3 will be announced? Never, unless the developers get their shit together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's sort of true, friendship. <laughs> well, Unfortunately. For the most part, anyways. I don't really care if... Um, if Half Life Three comes out, I thought two was good enough. I haven't played any of the games. I should probably just to check it out. <laughs> yeah, Half Life's great. It was it was so like, good. Like if I may ask, what what's it like? Um, it's sort of like a first person shooter, but it's it's like campaign only. If that makes sense. Oh, I, I understand what you mean by campaign only. Like, um, there is some games like Wolfenstein, for example. That's just a campaign only game. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I kind of know what that is. If you streamed um, Half-Life, I'd watch it. I think you might enjoy that game. It's on Steam, too. I have it on Steam. I have it um, for the PC, but I don't have it on Steam. Oh. And I have um, 
I have it for the Xbox too. So that's cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't play it anymore. I really should play it again because it was so fun. Like, well, if you, you do just... play it, Evil, yeah. I will stop by your stream just to check out the game. Yeah, you know what? I might just do that, actually. I might stream it sometime. Because you helped me with the extinction on Point of Contact, and I kind of liked your strategy on that. It's all about the sentry guns. That's it. That's, like, that's, that's what strategy. I was using, but I was using, I think... Um, what class was I using? I was using... Um, Explosive ammo, not right. Not the other ammo. What, what, I, I think you were you. What I, were you using? Stun ammo. Yeah, stun ammo. Um. Yeah. Well, because I have the bonus arcing stun ammo. Normally, I would not use stun ammo. Um. I would recommend for you either flame arrows, flame arrows, um, flame uh, ammo, or uh, it's incendiary. Incendiary. Because I have, I I got through. It's on my channel. If you want to look that up on the main channel. I'll, just under my name, a playlist under COD Ghost Extinction Mode. If you want to watch that, go ahead. Um, I got through Point of Contact until the last thing. The rhinos just took Thunder out like crazy. There's a lot of little things you can do to take out a rhino. Like, if, for example, the bulldog uh, is the shotgun. If you go prone and shoot a rhino with a bulldog, he'll go flying backwards. Really? Yeah, uh -huh. so he can't actually hit you. So, I mean, that right there, that's a that's an easy way to take down the rhino. Plus, you can use the, your hypno knife to take him out um, if you have that ability. You can just make him focus your sentry guns the whole time. What was the question? Which one? <laughs> the the asked? most recently asked. It was about Half-Life, right? Oh, yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah, I'll stream that sometime. I'll let you know first, though. Well, I got my... Uh better Twitch TV set up to notifications on my desktop. So I'll know when you go live. <laughs> Cause I've yeah, got people go, I got people going live left to right on my right corner of my uh, desktop. You guys don't fortunately see it cause I didn't capture that window. Thank goodness. Cause that would have got annoying. Um, so I will know eventually when you go live, I'm about ready to take the, the app off my phone or nah, you know, what? I'm going to keep it on my phone because sometimes I'll listen to people stream while I stream. So, yeah. And I think we also followed the question with Half Life Three with uh, with the books, the hand, the hand, you know, the books that you get with the video game, the helpful. Yeah, yeah. That's so what we did. I think that's what the question was. After we answered the Half Life question. Okay, here's a here's a question. What's or actually, I think it was Thunder's turn. Uh, yeah, I'll go real quick. <clears throat> if you could have a character from a different game help you with COD Zombies, who would you bring? Nikolai Belinsky. <laughs> that's Nicole. the guy who I'm playing right now in the background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you could have a character from a different game help you with oh, COD Zombies. Oh, from a different game. My bad, I read yeah, that Yeah, like um, Master Chief. Um, Master Chief. Yeah. Who would I bring? Um, can I say Jesus? <laughs> Why Shut Jesus? Up. Why Jesus? Just curious. Uh, he's unkillable. I mean, that right there—that's that's a must, you know. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the devil because he worships the zombies. <laughs> yeah, he might. He uh, might from another game, I will have to pick uh, Nathan Drake. Who's uh? Huh? What game is Jesus from? Yeah, what game well, is Jesus from? I mean, I'm sure it's from a bunch of games. Like, he's probably in the South Park game. How about this? I would bring Hercules to the Z COD Zombies. Mm. That's, that's a good one. Well, there's, actually, there's technically, there. Evil, there is a game that has uh, Jesus in it. Well, I don't know if it's God, but Zeus. Mm -hmm. The father of Hercules. Yeah. So, I guess it could kind of work with Jesus. So, I would pick there. Hercules. I think we need to narrow that down, like, because you could easily just say like Hercules. Well, Hercules was invincible. Yeah, I mean that's well, okay. Jesus right there. All you right. could say Jesus. He was invincible. All right. If I had to pick one out of a game that's not Jesus or Hercules or whatever, I'm gonna go with a wrestler that goes by the name The Rock. I would take him into oh, yeah, and him put him into sure, the right? into the game into the with help Wait, me with the mean? cod zombies. I'm Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yeah, Dwayne, yeah, Dwayne the yeah. Rock Jackson. If you smell what the Rock is cooking, yeah, who wouldn't want him? 
right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Theoretically, he, he can message because he's not invincible. No, he's not invincible. I'm not invincible either. Hardly anybody is. Well, like Hercules and Jesus, you couldn't say them because they're invincible. That's not fair. Uh huh. I think I'd want Master Chief just because I don't know. I feel like he'd be cool to talk to. Well, talk at, not really talk to, because he probably wouldn't yeah. talk back. Much. But he'd be just. I don't know. He'd just be a cool dude to hang out with. Plus, he's a badass. Uh huh. I would love to see Crash right? Bandicoot. <laughs> That'd be funny. That would be hilarious to see Crash Bandicoot and co- uh, help you with the cotton <laughs> zombies. I, that it would, because he, he, he can't That'd understand awesome. him, but it would be hilarious. He kills a zombie, he does his little dance. <laughs> it'd be probably more for entertainment purposes than helping me kill the zombies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Did you already read your question, Thunder? <laughs> I was about to, until... Um, Elemental had a question. Uh, let's see. Here's a good one. Why are most games not coming out 60 FPS on the next gen consoles, like ah. Xbox One and PS4 and PC? That's good. Because money. Money, and I think they're too lazy to push out the full potential of uh-huh. the freaking consoles and PC. Right. Because if you've seen uh, Boogie play Watch Dogs, you I can tell that good. port was shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, what, what were you saying, Evil? I was just saying that's a pretty simple answer. They just don't want to, I guess. Then it beats the purpose of next-gen games. Yeah. Exactly. Because they almost like, didn't need to create the PS4 and Xbox no. One and just went with the PS3 and Xbox 360 because if you're not going to push games out to 60 FPS, then what uh-huh. was the point of having the next-gen consoles come out? Well, right. I think... Here's another thing that I think. I think that people have pushed and rushed the development of the PS4 because... From what I heard, the PS4 was supposed to have better hardware, but people just kept going, I want it now, I want it now. So they put whatever was the best way, and they've cut corners, and they priced the system at $400. Um, As for the FPS question, I think FPS is probably... It's either one or two things. It's either that games are not being pushed to their full potential or they've already reached their max potential and there's not much they can do with the system but you th- with that you would think the mm-hmm. PS3 would be the 30 frame per second monster. yeah you would think not the PS4 mm-hmm. you know and Xbox One in case evil's case that it's what well imagine plays. this there's some games that they've been releasing for the uh, next gen and last gen, I mean current gen and last gen, and the last gen versions run at like a measly 22 frames per second. Give an example of a game. Um, Grand Theft Auto was a game that was built for next gen consoles. So they're pushing the limit for that on the PS3. Uh, Thief was another one. Shadow War was another one. These are all games that they tried to like, oh yeah, we'll keep the last gen in mind. And I think them keeping the last gen in mind is um, basically limiting what they can do with the PS4 because of money. But if you think about it though, if they would have mm-hmm. pushed that to 60 FPS... Yeah. They should People would probably buy more games yeah, and get them. And then their money would go up, you would think, right? You would think. But I don't right. know why they're not. On this 6 FPS. To be, I mean, on, to be honest, if they didn't uh-huh. come out with the PS4 and Xbox One, they should have waited till 2016, to be honest. They should have. Because the PS3 and Xbox and 360 still kind of had potential... Mm-hmm. Um, still, but if you play the game that I'm showing in the background, if you kill a, a crap ton of zombies, it does drop the FPS, I've noticed. Uh-huh. Um, but that's the PS3. 
Now, I'm looking towards the PS4 version of their Treyarch game, Zombies, because it's supposed to be an updated engine and an mm -hmm. updated service, but I don't want to see it the original on the PS3. I want to see that if they can fix that lag issue that they had with the PS3 and oh, yeah. transfer it to PS4, because that's why this next Call of Duty game I'm getting is going to be on the PS4. Yeah. Anybody ever notice the double kind of looks like Moose from Step Up? <laughs> yeah, my uh, my webcam is like in a spot where my laptop isn't aligned, so it's kind of not aligned very well. Well, it could be my issue too. I'm just taking it off the Skype uh -huh. thing, so it could be my fault too. Wait, what? What's your fault? Aligning the freaking webcams a lot oh, with Skype, maybe. Mm -hmm. So it could be another issue because that was my first time actually doing that. So. Yeah. But that was a good question. We went on on that one for a while. <laughs> All right, go ahead, uh, Evil. All right, let's see if I can. Here. Uh, what's the best system for the cost? Xbox, PlayStation, or the Master Race PC? If I, had it, if I had it my way, I would have all three. But if I had to pick one, probably PS4. Well, which one do you think is better for how much they cost? Uh, PC could run you a lot of money. Yeah. I would say PS4. The only reason yeah, is because you could probably, you could stream off it. I mean, it probably the quality won't be great, but you can actually stream off it and capture gameplay off it. Because they took the HDCP off. And that's another thing to follow up the last question. What was the deal with the PS4 not being able to capture games until later the year they'd put a patch where I don't you know. can? That was just nuts. But I would say PS4 because you could do streaming off it. You mm -hmm. wouldn't have to use the PC to stream off it. And you can also put the chat up so you don't have to really look at chat on your phone or whatever. So, yeah, I think that would be my answer, PS4. Probably. I think I'd have to say PC. PC? Just, you can get a really good PC for about $600. Mm -hmm. Um, And, like, you can do anything on a PC. Pretty like, much. you can't play RuneScape on the PS4. No. <laughs> but I'm not a RuneScape fan because no. it's not my game, so I wouldn't. Well, that's that why I chose the PS4. I'm not a huge fan of MOBAs. So, I mean, well, I'm trying to play League, but I'm still a noob at it, but. Oh, yeah, I can't play League on PS4 either. So, I, I could see me just playing the PS4 strict. <laughs> but I wouldn't be able to play uh, with PC World at War Zombies, but I could probably learn to live without it. Let's see. Oh, I sent you a picture double on the Skype. I'll look All at right. that later. Because if I pull it up, it's going to mess up All right, here is windows. a question. It's uh, two questions. One is, who introduced you to gaming? That's an easy one. My father did. Yep, same here. Because he was playing... I forget what game he was playing. I don't know if he was playing Super Smash Bros. or another game. And I asked Dad if I could play. He said, uh -huh. sure. I would sit there and play Super Mario's for days, and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. I'm like, sweet. Let's just fucking play this game all day long. Uh -huh. And that's who introduced me to gaming. Now, the follow-up question is, if you weren't introduced to gaming, what would you be doing now? Well, let uh, Evil answer the first part oh. of the question. Yeah, right. dude. <laughs> me Sorry. I'm still here, bro. I think you'd have to be a little more specific, though. Do you mean, like, console gaming? Or do you mean Just video gaming? gaming in general. Gaming in general. Like, oh, how well, do you get introduced to it? My mom brought Scrabble home one day. You're probably like, and oh, what, what, what's this? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is fun. And right. In terms of console gaming, my mother, again, brought home a PlayStation for a Christmas present. And I was so excited because I thought, you know, PlayStation, that's like, uh, 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 like a... 
a background for my action figures and and i was so excited and then it was like is this machine i was like what is this this is stupid and then we yeah. played it well <laughs> coolest shit in the world to change your life forever and you game to this day because of it right uh, exactly what about awesome. uh you said dad right uh double uh yeah all right uh I'm going to go ahead and read this comment that Friendship Boss said to me. He's like, damn, lucky you, Thunder. My parents were the ones who took all the con my consoles away and stuff. <laughs> well, uh, mine well, did, get, mine did get take away if I got grounded. So. Yeah. As a punishment. Yeah, they, take they would away. take my Game Boy, my my uh, PlayStation, yeah. my Super Nintendo away if I, did so if I didn't do good in school. They would take it away. If oh, I, I didn't do my chores, they would take it away. I eventually just hid my Game Boy and said I lost it. <laughs> Here's a funny story. You know how in, when you were in well, uh, middle school or elementary school, you know how it was on the Game Boy Color and you didn't have the light that you guys do now? Well, I asked for a light, a Game Boy light, USB light for my Game Boy, and I would play that up to, what, 3, 4 in the morning? And then go to sleep for about two hours and go to school every day like that. That's what I would do. <laughs> I think everyone who ever had a Game Boy did that. Yeah, I, I think so too. Probably. Those were like the best times. And then I would even take the Game Boy to school, bring a link cable, recess time, and they asked me if I, if I had it in my pocket. I would start playing. And there was a kid that walked up to me. So you play Pokemon, huh? Yeah. He's like, you want a battle? And he's like, I'm like, yeah. And he's like, do you have a link cable? Yeah. So that's how I made most of my friends with Link Cable ba Pokemon. Battles. That's awesome. So that was you were like the drug dealer back then. <laughs> yeah, pretty much of gaming. The drug <laughs> dealer of gaming. You're right. Thunder. All right. Well, the follow-up question was, if you weren't introduced to gaming, or say if gaming didn't even exist, what would you be doing now? Stand up. Huh? <laughs> Stand up. Stand up. I would be vlogging on YouTube just about my life mm -hmm. and. Kind of raging, like oh, I can't oh. do that now. But how did how did you get introduced to YouTube? Was that not through gaming? No, it was watching uh, Boogie and a lot of other YouTubers, which I thought looked fun. That's what introduced me to YouTube, and then it's what eventually came across the capture card, and uh -huh. that's how I got into it. Is I said it looked fun, give it a shot. And I'm actually enjoying it. And then I'm learning how to speak better. I don't know if you guys can tell. And um, learning the sounds and matching the sounds with the audio, game audio. And uh -huh. um, dual commentaries are fun awesome. to do as well. It took uh -huh. me a while to learn that. It was basically a learning process for me because if I have to legitly speak, because I had a trouble speaking um, growing up, when you had to presentate something to the class, I would sit there and be a nervous wreck. I would sweat, and it was just inter not interesting to watch. Right. And I also had to learn to laugh at myself, too, just because to be funny, that's what I had to learn to do is to laugh at myself. Because I wouldn't be doing half the stuff I can if I didn't learn to laugh at myself first. Yeah. <laughs> And also, I would probably do web designing because I was going to go to school for that, but I kind of mm -hmm. dropped out because of the money issue. Uh-huh. Well, I'd probably be doing film. Video editing? Yeah, but it's weird because the thing that you dreamed of doing when you were younger is different than what you've been doing now. Because, I mean... Back then, I got introduced to gaming at a young age. So did I. So, like, obviously, my freaking dream job would have been like, oh, I want to make video games, and then that changed to video editing later. Well, I, I wanted I to do I wanted to do that too, but uh -huh. I heard it's a complex. It's hard as shit because of all the math. programming. That's not my strong suit. I couldn't program no. for crap. Uh, go ahead, Evil. That, I think that was most uh, child gamers' dreams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, like, I wanted to game design as well. But my childhood dream was to be a Major League ball player, though. That was my dream. I played baseball for 15 years from the age 4 to 19. 
But the last two years of high school ruined it for me because I sat the bench. Um, they would they would play. My coach would play the well known people in the play, the town where I live at, and I would work hard at practice. Oh, you'll get the play. You'll get the play. I never got to play. I was more of the guy who entertained the bench. Yeah. And the year we went to Dow Diamond, and I practiced on their field. I played third base. The turf was freaking awesome. And then he put me into the game. I wanted a ground ball, but I get a fucking pop up for my only fucking out of the wow. game. I was pissed. So if I had to do it all over again, I would have probably quit baseball after my 10th grade year of high school because I didn't get to play the last two years of high school, which pissed me off the most. That's why that dream went to crap, and my knees are not as good anymore. I popped both of my knees, so I can't really do sports that much anymore. So that was my childhood dream until that got shattered. <laughs> so... I believe it is your turn, Thunder. Oh, it is? Yep. Damn. My turn already? God dang it. Yep. Just keep... Do you have them written down? I got them on a window. Or I, I wrote... I didn't write them down. I copied and pasted in a word pad. <laughs> yeah, I have them in notepad. Well, I do <laughs> use in word pad. Hold on, I gotta find my questions real quick. I'm out all out of the, I'm all out of questions, so just letting you guys know. All right, man. Oh, that's okay. I got sixteen. You can have the rest of mine. <laughs> I, well, I don't even know what yours are. Okay, then I'll I'll, I'll take your turn then. I yeah, tried to get some interesting questions. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we answered this before, but which is better, playing solo games or co-op games with somebody else? Co-op for sure. Well, it really depends on it the game you're playing. Because a lot of games out there are good playing solo. Mm -hmm. And some games need a co-op yeah. partner. For example, right here you see me playing solo zombies. I mean, I've had people tell me it is interesting. If you're going for zombie-specific weapon challenge, yeah. like I'm doing a, just a pistol-only challenge on here. But... I can see co-op being a thing because then you can do a whole bunch of video montages if you're a YouTuber, yeah. funny clip montages. So I can see co-op gaming being uh -huh. better than single-player gaming. But if you're vice versa, you would say single-player games are good because there is a lot of good single-player games that you can play as well. But if I had to choose one, I would think I would choose co-op games. It would be more fun uh, to play with somebody. For me... It depends as well. Like, if it's a multiplayer game, say, like, Call of Duty, then obviously... Obviously, I'd like you're going to want to... You would want to play with friends. You want to play multiplayer in that case. But say it's a co-op game that you can play by yourself, or you can play with other people. 